welcome back to the Global Local Top Tips and today something so simple, fruit scones. It's something I've been asked for so much. It's so quick, it's so easy, but there's a knack to it and I'm going to show you exactly how today. Let's get stuck in. Okay, to get started I need 350 grams of self-raising flour, 250 ml of whole milk, 100 to 120 grams of dried fruit, I'm just using some currants here, 150 grams of salted butter and a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. Okay to start I've got my flour straight in there, my baking powder and my fruit. I'm going to give it just a little stir around. I'm going to get my butter in there. for a second, just cover the butter up, just break it, and so this is where its speed is important, you want to incorporate that butter and flour as quickly as you can, so it doesn't get too greasy, the heat of your fingers doesn't make it too greasy. So a crumble consistency is what you're looking for, so you're not having any major big lumps of butter in there. So I've got my mix here now, just a little stir around, and we're just going to add in three quarters of the milk. Because depending on the temperature of the flour and the butter, it's all going to come a little bit differently each time. So you just don't want to make sure it's too wet. By any chance you do make it too wet, just add in a little bit more flour. You just want to give it a good stir around just till it combines, just check, and that's going to be plenty. Just clean that spoon off there, beautiful. Put your hands in there and just bring it together. Roll it around, you don't need to knead it, you don't need, you just want it, just run it around the bowl and it all just comes together. Give it a little, just give it a little push down, just to smooth it off, and that's it. Beautiful. Throw them little currants in there. Give it a minute to rest. All right, so I want you to push it down. You don't need to roll it out with a rolling pin. If you look at the side here, it just comes above the first knuckle of my finger. Okay, just above here. It's too quite thick. So I've dipped my, my cutter into flour so it doesn't stick. So at this point, if you think it's going to be too small, this one's fine. If I thought it was going to be too small, if I only had a small little bit left, what I'd do is pinch it all off and I'd put it under each one of these, not to waste the dough. So let's say I had only half of this, I'd cut it into, I'd cut it into five pieces and I'd put it, put it under each one, not to waste it. So that's perfectly fine. Just a six there. There you go. So I'll place my scones on a greased tin. We've got some baking paper here. And I'm just gonna brush the top of them with some, some cracked egg or egg wash. Just on the top. Try not to let it drip around the sides too much. Just get them big drip marks on them. And that's it. Into the oven, 180 for 20 to 25 minutes. 
So 20 minutes later, here we are, our scones are ready and my god, they're looking beautiful. Just crack one open here, look at that, fluffy inside, beautiful fruit all the way through. What more do you want? So there you have it, fruit scones, and how quick and easy was that? There was no lemonade, there was no sour cream or cream cheese, it was all unnecessary. Just good basic ingredients, made with a little bit of speed and get them into the oven and you're going to get perfect results. Next up, key lime pie with a French meringue. Absolutely fantastic. Really looking forward to that one. Please subscribe, hit that like button and the bell icon. We'll see you soon.